All right, welcome to Strength Cardio Core, everybody. Today, you just need two weights or substitute weights. If you're holding uh, glass bottles, wine bottles, just be really, really cautious, right? Uh, towards the end of the workout, we're gonna be doing a drill where you hold one heavier weight if you'd like. So what I'm gonna do today is put my two uh, dumbbells together. If you have, say, laundry detergent or something that doesn't have a handle, go ahead and set your weight or whatever you got in a towel and use that um, to row. So that'll be how you row if you don't have handles. If you want heavier, you don't have to go heavier. The chair is optional today or, or a box if you can step up on, totally optional. And what's gonna happen is we have about four blocks of exercises. There's uh, three exercises that you'll be going, you know, one after the other. The first round of those is one minute each. The second round is 45 seconds each of each exercise and then 30 seconds, boom, boom, boom. And then we'll do a cardio thing to shake things up, then we'll move on to the next block. So hopefully that's sort of clear. All right, let's get going here. Feet right underneath the hips. Just let everything go. Just kind of shake everything out that you don't want today. Quick, let's set an intention. Put your hands on your heart if you'd like. As you breathe, feel the energy rise up from the ground. Feel your legs getting strong, your middle, your core getting strong. The end, the top of your inhales, your heart lifts into your hands, and just send some extra love and strength or whatever else that you want out into the world. And then bring it on back to you. Tell yourself that you're a badass and you're gonna kick ass during this workout, because you will. <laughs> All right, you guys, inhale your hands up to the sky and just send your hands down, let's squat. You can go big or little. So squat mechanics, First, look down a couple times and make sure your knees are tracking over the center of your feet. When you squat, they're not poking out or squeezing together, which is more common, I find. Your spine stays neutral. I talk about your lower back a lot, even though it is all three curves of your back. So natural curve of the lower back. And if you are looking at your screen, I would say not to put it straight in front of you or don't look at all the time because you want to have a, a neutral neck as well, that cervical spine, as you squat and as you stand. Go only two more. You're going to see this later. I try to do this. is called a movement prep. So I try to prep the moves you're going to see later. At the bottom of your squat, stay put. Step forward with your right foot. Just a little baby step, not even a lunge. I only went like one foot or a foot and a half. You're going to step forward. Arms are going to come up. You push with your left glute, your back butt cheek, and just tuck your tail and feel this opening in the hip flexor and then step back and squat now your left foot comes forward same thing this first one take a second to really feel what's happening you're pushing with your back toes and then squat once you've got it you move and groove i'll show you from the side so i'm stepping forward notice i'm not i'm not doing that i'm not arching my back you might see a little curve i'm trying to maintain a natural curve but absolutely no just like dumping in the low back. So we're using that engagement of the back body to get a, a safe opening in the front body. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Nice, do a couple more and I really want you feeling how you're pushing the toes backwards to engage your seat of the back foot, of the back leg, excuse me. <sighs> couple more. Now one more for real. <laughs> Good job guys, right there, easy stuff. I want you to um, take a, just a squat out to the side, reach up to the sky again, and then squat out to the other side. We'll be doing this as an option up and over the chair. Remember your chair or whatever elevated surface you have today is totally optional, you never have to do it. So this would be your modification if you don't want to go up and over the chair later. Only two more for real. Last one. Alrighty, lots of shoulder warm up because we do a lot of shoulders in these classes. So feet are under the hips, hug your feet in, thumbs right, um, touching or in front of your chest, right palm opens up, rotate to the right, center, left and center. Try to keep your knees and your hips pointing forward. So we're getting this opening in the chest, but we're also getting this movement or this engagement of our mid spine. So this would be chest, front of the shoulders, getting a little looser. Four more. Nice, you guys. Can you minimize the shifting in your hips? Two. Yep, that's better. 
All right, you're gonna take a baby step to the right, just a little baby step. Bend that right knee, you see this all the time. Reach up, open up that right side, step back to center. Left foot goes out, little baby knee bend, lateral lunge. Contract your abdominals so you shouldn't feel any uh, pressure or definitely no pain, but nothing uh, strange in your lower back. And of course, it just depends on what you've been doing, right? Uh, in the days, weeks, even months before you did this workout. Keep breathing. Really feel this opening as you inhale, open up. Feel the separation even of the ribs, believe it or not. Using your breath on that inhale to stretch your rib cage from the inside out. That's not a, a joke, it actually can happen. <laughs> Couple more, one more right, one more left. All right, I want us to hit the floor today and get pretty um, hot in our middle before we begin the circuits. So if you have an elevated surface, you're gonna use it in a second. <laughs> you're gonna roll on down this first uh, exercise. Just set your heels up. My knees are soft. It's not really important because you're gonna pull your feet off. Go ahead and take your hands to the back of your head. Do a little baby curl. Rest your head in your hands. And I am already pushing down into, the, into my chair to engage my glutes. From here, I'm just going to add a little contraction. So I am lifting my chest towards that moving knee, but it's very, very slow, very, very subtle. I curl up, I work, and then when I resist down, I'm not just falling down. I'm still keeping my abdominals engaged. So just think about that as we begin here, one at a time. You can always go at your speed. So I'm the foot that's on the chair, I'm absolutely feeling that glute. I'm absolutely feeling the obliques as I contract upwards. I'm not pulling on my head, so hopefully you are not either. Just one more each side, then we're gonna take our feet off the chair and do something a little bit more traditional here. So knees up. If you need to use the chair for support, absolutely do so. I want you to extend your right leg down, rotate to the left, and then very slowly switch out the knees and rotate. So if this is too much for your lower back and your abdominals to modify, you can actually kick higher if you want, or you can have one foot on the chair at a time, similar to what we just did, but with longer legs. So it's up to you, it's up to you. I'm resting my head into my fingers. My elbows are nice and wide, so it's the shoulder that's coming across towards that opposite thigh. 10 on your own count, keep going, your own pace. Belly button drawing down into the floor for four more-ish. Three, two, and one. So that should be a little warm in your, in your front anterior core. Now we're gonna light up the back side. So onto your legs straight. Heels hip width apart, toes pointing straight up. Take a big inhale right there. As you exhale, press your low back gently into the ground. Float the hips up. You should already be squeezing hamstrings, glutes, of course, abdominals. Your arms, palms are up and soften the backs of the shoulders. You're already working. Just holding this position is already work. It's a reverse plank. Slowly inhale, the hips drop about two to three inches. Exhale, squeeze it up. So it's a very small movement. And I don't want you thinking about getting your hips as high as possible. I want you to contract your glutes and your abdominals are getting contracted as deeply as possible. So that's gonna help co-contract your glutes if you get your abdominals really, really, really firing. Are the backs of your shoulders still on the mat? <laughs> Mine are not. So just try to slide the backs of your shoulders down. You should be feeling a little bit of heat or a lot of heat in your hamstrings and butt, a little bit of lower back, it's all good. If this is too much for you, of course, you just modify. You can take a break and come back. We're only here for five more seconds, so hang tight. All righty, slowly bring everything down for a second. Bring your knees in. You can take your feet, or bring your feet together with your knees open in that froggy position. I'm gonna um, have my toes curled back. Curl on up, grab your hamstrings. Give yourself a, a pull with your biceps and just start to Curl up an inch, down an inch. I'm using my arms to get a little higher than I could get without my arms. Five, four, deep forward flexion. Three, two, we'll change this in a second. Take your hands back to your head and only take your right hand out. Reach through the window of your legs. 
and then continue that curl. Exhale, exhale. So I'm not, there is no down. I'm not coming down and coming up. I'm staying in the work. Bonus, hopefully you're doing this. Squeeze your heels together tightly like you're holding on to a million dollar check in a windstorm. You want to really hold on tight. Four like that. Three, we'll switch arms in two. Nice, if you have one hand out, take it back. You can always keep one, um, both hands back. That's gonna add more weight for your upper body. But I'd like you to work this high curl. Yes, you're squeezing your heels. You might even have your, um, your legs might start shaking at this point. For four only, three, two, all right, reverse curl. Head goes down, that's the good news. Arms out, maybe goal post arms with your fingers up in the sky. I want you to curl with your legs in this funky shape. Exhale, inhale. Now see if you can take out the momentum, gang, rather than just kicking up to the sky. That's okay sometimes, but right now I want you to just contract your abdominals, hips, roll lift, and you're still squeezing your heels tightly together. This is it, we got four more, then we're starting this workout. And three, nice, two, and one, good job. Your legs should be a little cooked already. Rock and roll up any way you can. Let's do one set of planks before we really begin. So if you want to have your hands on the ground, you can. I'm going to be up here on my chair, feet hip width apart, nice and easy. Unshrug the shoulders, move your jawline back, and I want you to pike back, get a quick little baby stretch in the hamstrings. Watch this. Toe, heels up, excuse me, on the tippy toes, round forward. Exhale, pike back. Tippy toes, wave it forward. We do this on the ground all the time. So if you are on the ground, it's the same thing to down dog into that wave. Nice, you guys. Only two more. Hollow out the waist. We just did a lot of work on the floor to, to kind of wake up your abdominal wall. So it should be easy to hollow out the waist right now. Last one. Hold right here. Let's go reptile knees for 10, 9, 8, 7. Good job. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, let's go ahead and grab our weights. So three exercises, one minute each on this first round. We're starting with a squat to a curl, and then I'm really quickly gonna add a shoulder press. You guys ready? Have your weights in your hands. In four, three, two, alrighty. So feet hip width, squat to curl, squat to curl. Here's your next option, because we're on the first minute of this. You're stepping forward on your curl, stepping back. You're alternating that step forward, that's option number one. Remember, I'm really pushing off of my back foot, so I'm feeling that back glute every time I step forward. If you want a little bit more, we're adding an alternating shoulder press. You step forward, your opposite hand goes up over your shoulder, you rack it, you step back. I did that really slow, that first one. But it looks like this, step forward with the right foot, press with the left, step forward with the left foot, step with the right. Totally optional. You can just stay with the squat and curl without any steps if you want. Good. But if you've been with me for a couple of weeks or months now, we've been sort of working up to adding on to those basic moves. Three, two, and one. Put those weights down. We got a minute of chair mountain climbers or on the floor mountain climbers. It's up to you. Nothing fancy. Ready, set, team, and go for it. Here we go. Boom. You can go slow and walk them. You can run it, but make sure your feet aren't coming in really close. It's so common. It happens every time in a class or even my personal training clients. They start running their feet really close to their hands. You want to maintain that plank. Of course, you can do this on the ground if you want it to be a little more challenging. Breathe, breathe, breathe. So this is the only time we're going to be doing these exercises for one minute. And then it gets shorter and shorter and shorter. You got it. Keep going, guys. You have 20 more seconds. Good job. Maybe you can go a little faster. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe back of the head, drawing backwards. 
On deck is lateral step ups onto your box or your chair. Three, two, and one. Nice job. I'm going to um, face you guys just so you can see this for the first time. So whatever side you're starting on, we're going to go all the way up. There's no step down, all right? You step up, then you step to the side without the inner foot stepping down. So one foot is always on the chair or your box. You got it. You must be mindful, you gotta be your own trainer right now, is your knee over your foot, that high foot. Is your knee over the foot or is it collapsing in or is it poking way out? It's always where your second toe, roughly, your second toe is pointing, that's where your knee is pointing, okay? Yes. On your steps down, you can absolutely go faster, for sure, for sure on your steps down but I don't want you falling on the ground. So I don't want you jamming, keep going, keep going. You guys are great. Yes, I'm looking at your knees. Nice, good Alexandra, yep. <laughs> I love it, Jen. Doing it on a couch, whatever works. And for those of you that have maybe a back and you can't go up and over, you know, you've probably figured it out. You just turn around, right? You go up, up, turn down. Keep going, keep going. Faster for three, for two. Please grab your weights. We're going 45 seconds a pop. It's squat to shoulder press, well, optional shoulder press. Going in five seconds, reach for your weights, please. Four, three, two, here we go. Squat to just racking the bicep curl. Squat to stepping forward with the bicep curl, alternating, or right into the alternating Shoulder press. You're pushing back with your back foot. You're not just stepping forward. It's, I'm really activating my back foot right now. You squat, neutral spine. You can get that rotation in the upper body, of course, where it feels like you're reaching and trying to touch your knuckles to the ceiling or the sky. Keep going, keep going. It's gonna go by fast. Yeah, it's already five, four. Three, two, and one. Chair mountain climbers, we got five seconds to get there. You guys got it, or you can go on the floor. Five, four, three, two, 45 seconds. Go for it. Slow or fast. Breathe, anchor your shoulders slightly down away from the earlobes. You're breathing, if you're going slow, contract. You can really feel, actually, it's good to do a couple of these during your set if you're going fast because you can really feel your abdominals working. Just to make sure. You got it, you got it, you got it. Keep going, guys. Keep going, keep your eye on the clock. You have 10 more seconds. And then it's that lateral step up for 45. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, here we go, we're ready to go. Five, four, or you're on the clock already if you wanna be and 45. So the inside foot stays up, your knee stays over that foot. You can go fast, you can go slow, be really careful. Some of you just wanna hop it. If you have a stable, semi-stable surface, great. You don't have to, you do you. Yes, good job, hello fives. The good news is the time goes down every single set. <laughs> Not up. Five, four, three, two. Yowza, good work. Catch your breath, you got 10 seconds to catch your breath. Grab your weights, 30 seconds. Squat, curl, maybe with the step forward shoulder press. Ready, sit, here we go. 30 seconds. Last round, it's a shorty, it's a speed round, but that doesn't mean your form turns to shit. You gotta really be mindful of this last set. Good job, good job, good job. Five seconds. Four, three, two, set the weights off to the side. Mountain climbers going in five, four, three, two, 
floor or chair. Let's go. Yes. Nice. Can you go faster? Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. Maybe you don't want to. Maybe you feel it more when you're going slower. That's great. Just do something that's challenging for you today. Every day is different. Eight more seconds. Come on. Come on, come on. And then we're stepping up and over for the last time. Three, two, and one. Nice job, guys. You ready? Stepping over in five, four, three, two, Inside foot, outside foot goes down. No hesitation. That foot is light on the outside if you can, on this, on this faster round. If you can't, you step down, you step up, but make sure you're not falling down. You're coming down with some sense of integrity, security. You're not just falling if you're doing those slow ones. Five, four, yes. Three, two, one. Nice job. We have one cardio. I mean, your heart rate's up already, but one cardio move in between this block. It's one minute. No equipment. It's a lateral shuffle to a high block. We're just going to learn as we go. So on the right side of your area, ready, one minute on the clock. You're going to shuffle to the other side. Squat to toes. Shuffle. Feet hip width. Now if you want more, absolutely. Jump up, I call it a high block, like you're doing a volleyball block, right? So you're loading, Woo! you're trying to get that ball. You can see I'm not that great at volleyball. <laughs> that was not my sport. Good, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Absolutely go faster than me. If you're playing your own music, which I hope you are, and you got some great fast tunes on, Use it, do it. It's only one set of this. You're not gonna see this again today. Yeah, remember you're landing. You land just like you, you, um, you lift it off. Knees over the feet. Five, four, three, two, and one, breathing. Nose, mouth, wipe sweat. If your heart rate is not up and you'd like it to be next cardio segment and crush it it'll be jumping next time anyways all right we're on the floor you need two weights oh no um one weight one weight on the floor for this first exercise some of you saw this last week i told you i'd be demoing last week for this week if your knees are an issue like you have you're on a hard surface just roll up your little mat or put a towel or a pillow underneath your knees because they're going to be there. All right, check this out. You're going to have your weight towards your right hip. Step forward with your left foot. It comes around outside the knee, stays over there as you step back. And then my right foot's going to go forward, but at the same time, you're taking your weight up and over. So I step up and over. It's actually kind of you get the momentum of the swing and then you step, that's really how it goes. Swing, step, swing, step. I'll mirror you. I swing the weight up and over, I step back. Be really mindful of that bottom knee, you're, that you're using the toe and the knee to tuck your pelvis, right? To tuck your pelvis. I'm swooping from the outside this week. Last week I swooped under. Outside, up and over. Step back, swing, step. You're using the whole body to get into this. You rotate, boom, yeah. Step back, 10 seconds, you guys look amazing. Just learning the movement on the first round, and then you can pick up your pace next round. Three, two, one. No weights, just a chair or elevated surface is optional. We're planking and jumping into a twist. So if you're on the ground, it's going to look a little different. If you're on the chair, it's going to look like this. I'll show you on the ground in a second. You've seen this before. Both feet turn to the side, straight back into a plank, to the side, straight back. You are on the clock. You're on the ground. You're just not going to jump in as far. You twist your knees still, though. Shoulders stay over the wrists. 
Yes, that is challenging. I actually really like being elevated on this one, especially for my surfers, because you can get that foot placement on an imaginary surfboard, whether you're a regular or goofy. But you're trying to get right in the middle of your mat, AKA your board, and feet are parallel, right? You never wanna set your, your front toe pointing forward when you're surfing. Nice. But, but, you can absolutely go faster than I'm going. And this is amazing for obliques. It doesn't matter if you're a surfer or not. This is really, really cool. Deep oblique work, pull your belly button in. Keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, two weights in a chair. It is a lunge on the ground, step up, shoulder press, lunge again. What does that mean? Take one foot back behind you, doesn't even matter which. I'm gonna step back with my left foot in a lunge, I kick back triceps, I step up on my chair, as I step all the way up, I push the weights up, I come down with the other foot, and then I lunge. So it's up, up, down, down, I lunge back. Up, up, down, down, lunge back. You can do that without the chair. You come up, up, down, down, lunge back. It's just like this. I'm marching my feet to sort of let you know that's when you would step, but you don't have to march if you're on the floor. Notice when I lunge, I hinge. I hinge in that athletic lunge. Up, up, down, down, triceps. Biceps, shoulders, shoulders, triceps. Front knee stays over the front foot. Yes, keep going. You're up, right there. Take a breath. That was 60 seconds, we're starting kneeling. 45 seconds, one weight when you're kneeling. One weight when you're kneeling. I'm gonna go forward for you guys. Five seconds to get your poop in a group. 45 seconds to go, here we go. Stepping forward with your left foot, I swoop the weight to the right, step forward the left. Swoop the weight to the left, step forward the right. Oosh. Yes. Ugh. Hopefully your weight is heavy enough where you feel that momentum go back and it kind of pulls you forward. Nice. If you guys are super flexy in the hips like I am, please don't dump into your back like this. You want to keep pushing down with your back foot at the top of your back foot. You can have your toes curled under. Totally up to you. This is a good one. It's harder than it looks, that's for sure. You got laundry detergent? Awesome. It's a great one for a single uh, heavyweight. All right, you guys are up. Breathe it out. I'm going up to my chair. You can stand on the ground. This is that plank twisted jump in, yeah? Five. Four, 45 seconds. And let's hit it. Go for it. Shoulders over the hands. Back into a plank every time, not just like a little half and half uh, plank. I want your legs almost straight. Contract your glutes. Turn your toes to that 90 degree angle to the side, all the way to the side on both sides. It's kind of good to notice if there's one side that's easier to twist and the other's not. Keep going, keep going. 10 more seconds only. And then we do that step up lunge. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Whew, I'm a sweaty mess. Both weights, of course, weights are always optional. You don't have to use the weights. You step back in a lunge with the kickback. You go up, up, down, down with the other side lunge. 45 seconds, starting now. I'm stepping back. I step up, 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 
down, down. My other foot goes behind me, lunge. Up, up, down, down. Keep going, I wanna see you guys. Keep going. Yes, you step back and then you lunge. It should be your other foot. Every single time is an alternating lunge. <laughs> I see you. the wheels turning, Alexandra. Yep. You put your foot down, you step your that foot backwards. Yes, there we go. Let's see it, Jen. Up, up, foot goes down, other foot goes down, lunge. Now go right, left, right foot goes down, right foot goes down, and then your left foot goes behind you. Boom, girl, yep. Front knee over the feet. Three, two, and one. Take a moment for yourself. We got 30 seconds of pop. Starting with that kneeling lunge, it's gonna go by fast. You guys on the ground with one weight. Five, four, three, two, one weight. It goes outside the opposite hip, then you step forward. Yes. Nice, last time you're kneeling today, guys, by the way. I know this doesn't feel super great on knees, especially if you're on a hard floor. With me. Good job. Ugh. So your foot goes back, you swing backwards, and then it comes around up and over the top. Up and over the top. A little more challenging than what we did last week. And you are up. Now it goes by fast. Plank pop-ins. Five, four, go right to it. Three, two. Here we go, twisted planks. Let's go for it. Go, 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 go. Abs in tight. Yes. You can always walk. You can always walk every single thing that we do in this class, that is for sure. Eight, seven, stay with it. Six, if you're on the ground, man, I hand it to you. That's hard. Five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. Last lunge back with the shoulder press. I'll mirror you guys, it might be a little more clear. You got two weights, you got a, a step or a chair, ready? You're behind your chair. I'm gonna step with my left foot. Left foot goes back, left foot goes on the chair. Up, up, down, and then this right foot is gonna go step back. Boom. This one's gonna go by fast. You're already halfway done. Nice job. Six, five, four, three, two. You can set your weights down. Quick sip of water. Our minute of cardio is either fast squats or jump squats with a butt tap. So you don't have to tap your butt, but it gives you something to aim for, especially if you're a, you're a shallow squatter, you don't go very far. All right. Five seconds to breathe. You should not feel recovered. Four, three, two, one minute on the clock. Here we go. You touch, maybe. You jump, maybe. Or maybe you just go to toes. Or maybe you just stand up and squat. If you're doing the fast air squats, hands go forward. It's a little quicker. If you're not jumping. If you are jumping, though, use momentum. Take your arms up over your head. See, every time, if you don't have to sit, but I want you touching your hamstrings to your chair. You guys that cho chose a low chair, <laughs> I hand it to you. Nice, yes. Come on, 10 seconds, gang, I'm with you. 10 seconds, go for it. Come on, work right now. Five, four, three, two, one and breathing, one and breathing. You're going into what I talked about at the top of the class, the squat single arm rows, okay? So you don't need your chair for this first exercise in this next block. If you want a heavier weight than what you're holding with one hand, if you don't have glass, put both of your weights or one heavy weight in a towel and you can make it heavier, right? If you're unable to hold everything at once. All right, that was a long recovery. It's a minute. Start with your left arm. Left arm doing a row. You're holding a demi-squat in five, four. You're just rowing three, 
two, here we go. Bent knees are bent. Now notice I like to do this reciprocating arm movement because I promise you in your body, even if you do without the reciprocating arm, it wants you to do that because everything works together. Everything works together. So yes, for this first round, I want you to try to just stay in this demi squat. Or some of you really want to work it, hold a lower squat. As long as your chest is open, ideally your spine is the same angle as your, your shins if you're holding something heavy. So not really this, so you can support yourself. Breathe. Keep it going, keep it going. It's not super fancy on this round. You have 10 more seconds with this first arm. For me, it's my left arm. Five, four, three, two. Carefully put the weights down in between the arms because you're gonna do your right arm later. Is a plank jack to a pop in. I'm using my chair for sure. This is one minute of these sets for this first round. So it's one plank jack out in. And I'm going to bend my knees and really pull my belly button in and up. That's your move. Ready, set, go. Go for it. It's out, in, in, out. I'm really, really light on my feet. So when I pop my feet in, I'm not dropping down like an elephant. I'm really light. I have a lot of weight on my hands. If you don't like the jumps, feet walk out, out, in, in. You walk in, in, out, out. All good. If you're doing that, see if you can switch out your lead foot every once in a while. So you're not uh, always doing one side. It's usually your dominant side that you lead with that it's more comfortable to lead with. Keep going, keep going. 15 more seconds. Lots of core today. We started with core. Every block is all core, really, but there's one dedicated core move. Most of the time it's planks today, but next round I promise it won't be. Three, two, one. All right, do a couple backstrokes. Last set of minutes for the squat with your right arm row or second side. You got five seconds to get ready. Four, three, two. Try to make it as heavy as possible. And you can make it through barely a minute, barely. Oh, it's hard for me to hold on this side. Keep going. So my spine is neutral. My hand is just a hook for the weights. Hand is just a hook. So I'm not death gripping my weight. Of course, if you're holding a towel, you don't want to let go of that towel. Nice. That looks great. Nice, Allison, good. This should be heavy, you guys. If you need to double up your weights or put both of your weights in a towel, if you're not holding glass, please do it. Please do it. You got 15 more seconds, gang. Hang into that squat. Maybe get lower into your squat instead of jumping out of it. This is a minute, you know, next time it'll be 45 seconds. Yes, come on. Get that opposite shoulder rotating. Dominals are fully engaged, three. Two, one. Take a second for yourself, shake it out. So, as we continue with the more squat rows, when I go to my left side, if you want, if your back has had it, or it's just a little fatigue, you do one row, you stand up for one deadlift, essentially. You just keep your arms straight, okay? 45 seconds with your first arm, left arm for me, ready, set, go for it. So if you want, you do one row, you stand up, squeeze your bottom. You don't have to, you can stay here the whole time, especially as the time gets shorter. But if you'd like, say if you have a, a sensitive low back, or you're just unsure, this is what I look like from the side. I come up, notice I don't do this. I don't shove my hips forward. They're staying underneath my, my ribs, under my shoulders, under my head. Keep going, keep going. You still got six seconds to go. Maybe you keep rowing at this point if you're alternating. Should be heavy. Four, three, two. All right, put it down. 45 seconds, plank jack, pop in, or walk out, out, in, in. Ready, set, 
Hands down on the chair or the floor. If you're on the floor, it's a lot harder. Go for it. Nice, you guys. Nice and light when you pop your feet in. Nice, Alexandra. Perfect. Can you relax your neck and your jaw? Emily, Michelle, Kelly, and Jill, I know you're there. Keep working, ladies. Out, out, nice and light. Yes. Come on, seven seconds. Yes, you can. Maybe you go faster, even if you're running it. Four, three, two, come on up. You know you're going into your second arm for 45 seconds. Squat row or squat deadlift row. Ready, set, 45 seconds team. Let's go, second arm. Do that row, maybe you stand up and squeeze your glutes sort of a version of a deadlift. Squat row. You can hold it the whole time. The side I have to go down, I don't want to wait. Yes. Light grip. If you don't feel like you're gonna drop your weight, right? Use your back, not your hand necessarily. You have six seconds, come on. Abs in tight, maybe you're hugging the floor between your feet energetically. Three, two, come up, take a moment for your lower back. Breathe, we're going into our 30 second rounds. This is gonna be speed, speed round. So it's gonna be your left arm squat the whole time if you can. Plank jack, um, runs, and then other side. Ready, set, here we go guys. Squat, just row for 30 seconds. Come on, you can do this. Row for 30 seconds. Less than that now. 20 seconds to go. Hug the ground between your feet. Do not let your knees knock when you do that. You'll be more stable in the pelvis. So you're separating your upper body rotation from the really stable hips. Five, four, this is your first arm for 30 seconds. Two. Set that weight down, going into our plank jacks, pop-ins or runs in five, four, three, two, let's do it, 30 seconds. You can do this on the ground for sure. Maybe this last set you do, because you know it'll be harder and it's shorter. <laughs> yes, come on, stick with it, stick with it. No reason to give up now. You are all warmed up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and breathing. Nice work. You got your last arm for 30 seconds. Just grab it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, squat, hit it. Rotate the chest. Squeeze your little feet together like you're wrinkling your mat or whatever's beneath your feet. You've got heavy weights, good on you. Keep it going. So my hips, it's like you could have something balancing on your sacrum, right? Not on your shoulders, they wouldn't fall off for sure, but on your sacrum, yes. Woo! Muscular endurance, even for a short set. Three, two, one, breathe. 15 seconds. This set of cardio for this block, I think it's a doozy. It's when you tap your chair. <laughs> so if you're not tapping your chair, it's a lot faster than that, but if you're not tapping it, one, you can go this slow, but you can touch something on the ground. You can put a book on the ground or your weight on the ground. It's one minute going in five, four, you're charging three, two, one foot is up. Yep. Use your breath. It's not gonna work without the oxygen. Nice job, nice job. So if you're on a high step, keep going. It's light up there, light on the foot. Halfway, halfway. Or you're down, touching something lower. Maybe touch a shoe. 20 seconds to go. Yeah. Come on guys, if 
you're gonna stop. At least keep marching when you stop, right? Don't stop completely. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's the recovery pose. Inhale, let your belly expand on your inhales. That means let it all hang out. Exhale. Heart rate should be through the roof if you wanted it to be. Woo, let's give me a time check here so I don't take you over. All right, let's get as much of this last block as we can. This move I do all the time. Well, usually at least once a week with a chair. So you need two weights in a chair. It's an uppercut step up shoulder press. So I'll mirror you. I'm gonna put my right foot up, right foot up. My elbows are bent. I'm throwing a left uppercut. So I'm in the uppercut, I'm loaded my right foot. If you have a back on your chair, you're gonna step your, your left foot. So my right foot's on the chair, my left foot is now on, I'm throwing a right shoulder press. So my right foot's on the chair. I uppercut with my left. I step that left foot up and I do the shoulder press. If you don't have a back on your chair and you're holding heavy weights, just step your foot next to the top foot. <sighs> uppercut, step, rotate, shoulder press. <sighs> my top foot never comes off. My right foot right now is staying on the chair. The entire movement. So tons of obliques, tons of waist work. Left uppercut, step right shoulder press. It can be that slow. If you're on the ground, you're in a lunge, same thing. Step, Ooh, if you have a light weight, you bring up that uh, left knee. Three, two, and one. We took a couple extra seconds to learn that move. All righty, on the floor, nothing. On the floor with nothing. Bicycles, yes, you're welcome. Okay, because you know you gotta do that other leg, right? The bicycles right now, it's gonna be a one, two, three, hold. You'll get it. Ready, set, check this out. You're on your back. It's one, two, third one you hold. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, that's your tempo. So fast, fast, stick it. Fast, fast, stick it. Head is relaxed. Put the weight of your head into your hands so you don't yank on your neck. Breathe, breathe, hold. Pop, pop, pop. If you're going faster, awesome, but you're still doing the holds. So maybe it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, I don't know, but I'm not going that fast today but you absolutely can as long as you hold that third beat. Pop, pop, pop. Roll that shoulder up. Don't pull on your head. Pop, pop, pop. Eight seconds. Relax your jaw. Three, two, and one. Second side, stepping up on the chair with the uppercut press for one minute. Here's your minute round, finishing up the minute round. So for me, it's gonna be my left foot on the chair, okay? Going in five seconds. Grab your weights if you're using them. Here we go. Left foot's up, right arm's throwing the uppercut. I step, I put the foot on the chair if I have a chair, shoulder press that left arm. I'm over the left leg, pressing the left arm. Right arm throws the uppercut. If you don't have a back chair back, put your toe on the chair. Great, it's perfect. When you rotate, are you keeping your abdominals engaged when you push that weight over your shoulder? That's optional, by the way. If you just wanna rotate without the shoulder press, I have no idea what kind of weights you have at home. So if it's too heavy, ditch it. I'd like for you to try to get an uppercut though, if you can, because we haven't done any of those today. Not yet. So it's your left booty cheek, your left glute, really, really contracting as you step up. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. We get to go down those triple bicycles. Oh no, my bad, sorry. Keep your stuff there. That was the end of the first series, right? So we're gonna do 45 seconds of your first leg. 45 seconds of your first leg. Ready? Uppercut, shoulder cross. This is all 45 seconds for this round. We'll see if we can get through all three rounds. This is two. Okay. Left foot, my right foot, excuse me, up. Right uppercut, rotate, boom. So it's not the same leg you just did, but this is the top of our block. Uppercut, step, rotate. Abdominals in on the uppercut. Abdominals in when you step, rotate. Remember, you can step up to the chair or your box, whatever you got, without putting your foot up in the air. If you decide to do this without any weights, great, but I would like you to try to balance there, yeah? Try to balance if you don't have a weight over your head. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're down for the bicycles. No weights. 45 seconds. It's a one, two, three hold. Ready, set, one, two, three hold. Pop, pop, pop hold. Pop, pop, pop hold. Yes. Shoulder, shoulder, hold. Shoulder, 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 hold. Maybe you need to modify. Maybe your legs are up higher and you're not kicking as far. Great. You do you. You've got to listen to your body. Every day is different. Every day is different. You got six seconds to go. Five, four, three, two. All righty. 45 seconds of our second side. Second side. Weights if you're using them. So now my right foot is up. This is just me, if you're with me. Doing my left uppercut, I step. Rotate, oh no, we're doing the other side. If you're with me, sorry, my bad. Left foot's up, left foot's up. Rotate to the right. Right uppercut, rotating to the right, punching your left. Priority, that front knee, that top knee on your box, if you're using a box, is right over the foot. That's mandatory. There's no use stepping up if your knee's all conked out to the side. That's just a recipe for pain today or in 10 years. You never know when that's gonna pop up. That's why it's so important to be mindful in these classes or in any class you take of your movements. So it makes you stronger when you're outside running around or chasing your kids or whatever your favorite activity is when you can't be mindful of every second your body will automatically get there. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Take a second, just put the weights down for a second. Let me do a time check. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get through the 30 seconds of the first leg, the bicycle holds the second leg. Okay, minimal rest in between. Grab your weights if you're using them. It's going to be your whatever foot you want because you're in both. Ready, set, 30 seconds, go. Boom, I'm rotating to my left. I'm stepping up on my right, uppercutting, punching my right over my head. Come on team, you got this. All the way through today. Breathe. So your heart rate is probably as high as if you were jogging right now. Just keeping this consistent movement. Three, two, goes by fast. If your chair is in the way, move your chair. You got five seconds to drop to your triple bicycles. Ready, set, let's do it. Come on. One, two, three. Hoo, hoo. Yes, so good you guys. Come on, stay strong. 
If this is not hard for you, maybe you take out the hold and you just go crazy fast with low legs. You make it challenging for you, okay? If this is too much, you put your foot on the ground and go slow. You have five, four, last set of these for the day. Two, all right, you guys, weights, chair, last set of step ups, and then we're pretty much done with this workout. Woo! Nice, okay, here we go. Upper cutting, second leg, you step up, you rotate. I always get this first one wrong. Let me switch my legs, keep going. So I'm rotating to the right. I'm uppercutting my right arm. I step up with my left foot. Yes, you only have 16 seconds to go. Come on, don't give up on yourself now. This is literally the home stretch of this workout. Work hard, because we're taking out this last cardio bit that I had set up for you. Five, four, three, two, nice. Woo! Good job. Everything is away. <laughs> Keep your head above your heart. <sighs> Feet wide, hands on your thighs. Inhale, belly ribs expand. Exhale, slow. Maybe you're breathing mouth, mouth. When you can, it's nose, mouth. And when you can't, it's nose, nose. But that's whenever you, you're ready. Good job, you guys. All right, I'm gonna mirror you for these stretches. We're gonna open up our hips and hamstrings quite a bit. Make sure your heart rate is down. Hands and knees, hands and knees. Step your feet back into one quick plank. Exhale, downward dog. Pressing with the pointer finger and thumbs, unshrug the shoulders, feet are hip width apart. Pedal out your knees right, left. So you're just doing these little knee bends, opening up your hamstrings or glutes. Seeing if when you do that, you can keep the work out of your shoulders. Press back. One more on each side. You're gonna take your left leg to the sky, one three-legged dog. Step your left foot outside of your hand, outside, pretty wide. Set your back knee down. So if I mirror you, that's your right knee. Point your toes in the back. Now shift back an inch and then do a pelvic tilt. So hollow out your waist right now. Abdominals are pulling up off of your left thigh. Your left elbow, not your hand, your elbow pulls up. You rotate, you push with your bottom hand to get that rotation. Inhale there, listen up. As you exhale, let this left knee fall out if that feels good to you. You don't need to push on it. You can't if you want, but you don't have to. And just set your fingers down inside that, that um, sole of the foot, breathe. Now from here, you're gonna kind of floss or seesaw back and forth. Keep going, so I'm pulling back just like a foot or so, not all the way, just a little bit. And then you're coming forward, allowing that knee to be open. Breathe, inhale back maybe, exhale forward, one more just like that. Beautiful. Uh, put the sole of the foot back, just spin that, flip that foot back around. Press back into your downward dog once again. Inhale, second side, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step that right foot outside of the hand. Your back knee goes down. Let that front knee open up and your right elbow is just gonna do a quick little rotation or help to rotate the upper body, opening up your abdominals. Put the hand down, keep the knee open. And now you're starting that, that rocking horse or flossing back and forth. And just notice if this hip feels like your first hip. Yes, no, doesn't even matter if it does or doesn't. It's just nice to gather information every once in a while. Someday, or maybe not, we'll be symmetrical someday. One more on your own. And then from here, care, listen, I'm just gonna pick up my back knee and I'm gonna step that foot, back foot forward just to get forward any way that works for you. That just worked for me. All right, make, go ahead and make a diamond with your leg. So feet are kind of further out. Hands underneath the kneecap, we're almost done, you guys. Hang with me. 
Inhale, open your heart. I'm literally pulling my shins to get my chest forward. As you exhale, hinge. Take an inhale for length in the spine. Next exhalation, you can just fold your body all the way forward. I know some of you like to hold on to the tops of your toes. That's great, whatever feels good to you. But you're trying to get the top of your head away from your tailbone. So really reach it forward, reach it forward. From here, less than 60 seconds, so we end end. Just take your feet wide, right? If you have a mat, mat width. Fingers are pointing side to side. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, both knees go to one side. You know I love this. Inhale to center, exhale, both knees go to the second side. Take them back and forth a couple times. And then sit in any comfortable position you would like. Whatever works for you. You can just have your hands, palms up on your thighs, or if you want to have one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, or any hand position. Seal your lips. As you inhale, feel your belly expand out. Your ribs expand in four directions. And maybe your heart will lift at the top of that inhale. On your exhales, everything softens at your own pace. One more time. On this inhalation, take, make it big. Pubic bone to neck, you're holding on your inhale. Think of one thing that brings you joy, that enhances your life on that ex inhale, hold. Hold it, hold it. And then as you exhale slowly through the mouth, just sending love and light out to all of us and to all of the people in your world. Good job, you guys. Thanks so much for sweating with me today. Wow, I hope you sweat as much as I did. Thank you, Shanti.